going on, everybody? It's Portis Live Train. Welcome back today, guys. A set of Corsa back again on the channel, man. Today we are back in Washington, Shelton, Washington, to be exact. And if you guys are familiar with that, then you know we're on the Ridge Motorsports Park, man. Maxim and Marcus has went above and beyond once again. They have updated the Ridge Motorsports Park track for version number two. And I gotta say, this thing looks fantastic right now. Lots of detail to the outside of the track as well as the actual pavement itself. So it does look very, very damn good, man. The asphalt looks pretty damn solid this time around as well as everything surrounding the track. We have some now barriers along here. Still don't have the pylons yet but that will be coming very soon. I'm gonna leave this download link in the description box down below for you guys. I know last time it was not working. Smoke Darkness let me know, said, yo Slappy, the download link for the track is not working, man. I do apologize for everybody that was trying to get a hold of that. Uh, I'm not really too sure what happened, to be completely honest. You know, I had everything ready to go, and I just, I guess maybe the link got shortened. I don't know, man. Make sure that turbo's at 100%. Now, today, we are going to be taking around this S15 for a few laps, just trying to see if we can get a few good damn slides in. This is a tough track, man. I've told you guys this before. This is a very tricky track to learn and master properly. A lot of these corners come up very quick, and you'll find yourself using too much throttle very damn fast, man. Woo, this SR20 though is killing it. Now, biggest thing right here, you will come up on this 50 foot drop so damn fast, it's not even funny, man. It will throw you for a ride if you are not paying attention. Thankfully, oh, lost it, clutch in. Bang on that third gear again, I'm sorry. There we go. Try to run the wall, maybe? Just kidding, we're not that crazy yet, man. We're not that crazy, tires are not even warmed up. Hence why we are sliding off this track. Let's get a little second gear pull, shall we? Now the fifth gear, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this fifth gear, but you can see it just bogged right the hell down on me. Uh, really not too sure what is going on with that. We're gonna run one more lap and then hit the tune just to see if maybe we can make this thing even better what it already is not man i'm just kidding right i mean we're not doing anything crazy right now you can see i'm kind of struggling with this third gear fourth gear as well you know the fourth gear just seems not to have too much torque third gear is a little bit too short for my liking but if we can extend it on some of these then we are good to go uh just try not to lose it though man that's the problem with this track you get so much damn throttle fever you just want to just floor it and before you know it you're either outside of the damn lines or that rear end is completely outside, you know? So you just gotta be really careful with it. But I will leave this link down below. Go ahead, check this track out yourself. Let me know your thoughts, but this thing looks phenomenal now, man. Oh, no, no, no. You can see that just wanted to come out on me. That's okay, man. We still got some tuning to do. All right, so for this tune, um, what I've done is just put on the drift tune, my last drift tune, and usually that, you know, works, but obviously this is a very long track, we're going to need some extension on these gears, so what I'm going to do is I think I want to have my third and fourth gear, my two dominant gears, so I'm thinking 154 to 177 should be okay, um, so we're going to try that out, just to see, we have street S2s on here, the only other option that I do have are the semi-slicks and the advan, so, and uh, throw a massive... 2.9 on the rear. I just want to see if I can extend this rear end a little bit more and just see if I can get some angle with it and hold out some of these longer corners. That's kind of the plan with what I'm doing on this. We're going to go ahead and bring back this toe just a slight bit. Now, curious from you guys, what do you usually put your diff coast at? I never really know what to throw it at, so I'm going to leave it at 40 right now just to see how she feels. I'm going to raise up the front end just a slight bit, get a little bit more stability on those downhills. Uh, if you guys are curious, we got the Thrustmaster TX base on here, NRG rim with the adapter to use that rim. We have the TH8A shifter on the side with the Sparkle shift knob going down as well. T3PA Pro pedals underneath and the Wheel Stand Pro holding everything together. We also have the Hydraulic Handbrake mod going down. It's not actually hydraulic, it's just a mod, man. It's just a mod with a button, that's all. 
Car feels pretty good right now. We're gonna get to the comments from last episode, and that's Blood I Cry 1. He goes, can I, sorry, can you drift without a handbrake, or is it supposed to say me? I, I don't know if it's supposed to say me or him, but it says can I on the comment. Now, of course you can drift without a handbrake. Uh, you know, I've done that before, but, I mean, right here, I'm just gonna show you real quick. I mean, not using the handbrake whatsoever, you can really get some good slides with just throttle control. And, you know, throwing the weight around, knowing when to throttle, you know, just knowing when to back off, but if you know your track, oh man, I was gonna reach for the handbrake right there and just disregard everything that I said, oh my god. That's the muscle memory coming in. Jesus, but if you can whip it, man, you're good. Like, just right here, we're just gonna throw it in, throttle, you can see that rear end just start to kick out. Obviously, this is not the setup. I did not make this car not to use a handbrake, but it is definitely doable. Right there again. Now, another comment from last episode is from Finn Pund, and he goes, what handbrake do you have? Now, it's just a very cheap, uh, you know, e-brake style handbrake. Pretty much what I did was I just soldered it to the wheel and then put a button on the back of the handbrake right here. So when I push it, it actually will activate that handbrake for me or when I pull it all the way back. So it's a pretty damn cool little thing that I made for myself and it works fantastic, man. No issues whatsoever. And, you know, it's been holding in there 110%. I can throw, you know, 100, you know, power to it and it's fine. You know, no issues whatsoever. We're gonna try to hold out this third gear. We got her. We're good. We're good. Second lap. The tires hopefully are feeling a little bit better. We're not going into fifth, man. I hate fifth gear. We're not doing it. Just going to cruise right now, man. We're just coasting. But, now, yeah, I actually have seen a couple people do the handbrake mods. It is doable. Definitely. I don't know if it's doable on any other wheel. If you guys have tried it, please let me know. But, you know, there's a lot of creative people out there that have been doing some crazy things on their wheels. So, it'd be cool to see what everybody else is doing. Now we do have another comment here from Gustavo Bagarian. He goes, damn, you are so much better at Assetto than you are Forza Horizon 2, man. We gotta understand though, Forza Horizon 2, um, you know, that game is totally different than Assetto Corsa. So you really cannot even put them in the same pot. That's like saying Call of Duty is the exact same as Battlefield, right? I mean, you can't do that, right? So pretty much what I'm getting at is, yes, this game is totally different, but it has so much better feeling and control than you get with, say, Horizon 2, and I think that's why, you know, it looks like I'm a lot better, um, but in theory, though, you know, I'm probably the same, I guess, I don't really know, obviously, I can get, you know, the tandems a hell of a lot easier on this game, just because of the way that the game is set up, you know, the way that it feels, but, um, I don't know, man, I, I don't know, I guess, thank you, right, I mean, I don't really know what to say to that, my man, I'm sorry, but, appreciate it, though, I'm gonna try to rip this third gear down, I always overshoot this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna run it down and then I think I'm gonna flip it back and then run it uphill just to try it one more time. And we did it last time and that was a hell of a lot of fun. Had to let off just a slight bit on that. Oh my god, man, I stole her. I'm pissed. I'm hoping this third gear is a good fit for the uphill and look at it man that is a mountain pretty much man that's crazy I love that section okay we're gonna run that one more time and I'm feeling that downhill one more time are you I keep wanting to take off oh my no luck we're gonna try this one more time in third Just kidding, man. We're dropping at the second. I couldn't do it. A little clutch kick just to ensure that we're going to keep spinning. And that is all. All damn skids right there. Ooh, we're good. We're good. Go. Oh. Don't flip. Now another comment from Chester1, he goes, I just today subscribed to you and feel the need to watch every video, man. I think you're awesome. Big thank you there, Chester. Much appreciated on that. And, you know, it blows my mind still that people are finding my channel. I mean, how the hell 
Where do you guys keep coming from, man? I have no idea. Huge, huge thank you. If you guys don't know, though, we are approaching one mil very, very fast. And uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody. You know, it's crazy that I can still sit here, slide some damn cars, and, you know, still be having fun as I was day one. And uh, that's the bug, man. Drifting is a lifestyle choice. And I feel like it's, you know, pretty much consume my damn video game choices as well too but i'm not mad about it man definitely not mad about that gonna rip this third gear still feel like i need a little bit more on this third gear just to pull me around some of more of these longer corners i don't know but that's what i feel though man that's that's exactly the way i feel like this thing should go so we may do one last tweak with it and then move on for the day but the ridge motorsports park man this has been another treat to drive like I said, huge thank you to those guys that did make this happen. I will leave their Facebook modding site down below for you guys to check out. Meet again, corkscrew. I'm coming this time, man. Here we go. We're going to try to stay in third. I'm going to have to probably work the shit out of this clutch, though, but we're going to make it happen. Here we go. He is just working the clutch, like I said. A little bit of handbrake. Little bit of throttle. Come on, man. In the dirt. Little dirt don't hurt. Let's go. Oh, no. <sighs> Thank you so much, Maxim. Marcus, for not filling that wall again, man. I would have been dead right there. Now, Herman Soccer won last episode. He commented saying, please do rear view. So boring watching cockpit man well i'm definitely sorry about that we're gonna run some third person for you then my man don't worry about that we got you i personally am not a huge fan of the third person on the game but it's okay man i got you for a few laps you guys can kind of see the angle that i am getting not too much but again you don't want to throw it in too hard so if you throw it in too hard you're really just going to come with it and you know you're done so that's kind of yeah see as I said, I wanted to extend that third gear. 226, that may be a little bit excessive, but we're going to try it just to see how it goes. Maybe a little bit more PSI on there. Um, alignment, I'm feeling everything is okay. I don't really want to change too much. Maybe maybe a little bit more damn rear camber on that. And it, She looks good, though, man. This S15 looks damn well good. Oh, yeah. We went through the wall again. No big deal. Oh, is my turbo on? Hold on. We got to check turbo. We got to check turbo. Turbos clear for takeoff. Oh man, this third gear now, it's too damn long. No! Shit! Maybe not. I can definitely tell you though, it's hella long on those damn smaller sections now. We're gonna have to be using that second gear. I should have stretched the second gear with it, but let's see how she runs. Oh, come on! Oh, okay! Um, I also do love this hood view mode. So we're going to try this out as well for a little bit. And then we're going to get into the third person perspective, which is, I'm assuming, what he was meaning when he was saying about the rear view. So we're going to do that in a few here. But I just want to run a few of these to see how it goes. I change the gears up a little bit. Car seems to be running not bad. We're going to get a little jump right here. Yep. Oh, Jesus, man. Hell yeah. Let's go. Throw it in. Too early. Got to have more handbrake, man. It's the key to life right there. Got to have more handbrake. Let's run that down. So far, this car and track combination on the ridge has been pretty damn fun, man. I've actually really enjoyed this S15. 460 horse on this, I believe, so it's not bad for what it is. But obviously, this track is not really made to be drifted on, right? So, I mean, it's really cool to see that we can still kind of throw down, hold some lines with a lower horsepower car. Obviously, I'm still trying to get Ryan Turk's replica FRS GT86 on the game. I don't know when that's going to happen, but... A lot of the GT86s on a set of Corsa, the blow-off just sounds stupid. And that's really the reason why I haven't been running them. Because there is one with about 850 horsepower, but the field of view is messed up. 
hands are messed up and the sounds are just messed up as well too so I don't know what I do know is third gear rips oh my god we went through it man we went through it let's just pretend oh you guys didn't see a damn thing man I didn't go through no tire wall some damn roof view mode for the rest of the little, little bit here I know it kind of looks a little bit weird, but it's all you get, man. It's all you get. You may go back to cockpit, but we'll see. Once again, the download link will be in the description box down below. Huge thank you to Marcus and Maxim for making the version 2 of the Ridge Motorsports Park. And just a phenomenal attention to detail on this track. The only thing that I wish, though, is that the tree on the drop was there man if you guys are watching this all I ask is for you guys to add in the damn tree that's on the drop there's a big tree on the right hand side right here that's not here man and the thumbs down this video if it's not I'm just kidding man I'm not gonna thumbs down my own video imagine that thumbsing down your own video because something's not oh my god no I'm talking stupid man I need some more coffee and be still a little bit earlier but earlier see what I'm talking about man I need coffee ASAP man ASAP I had this one but it's cold as shit now, and I, I don't I don't drink cold coffee, man. I can't do it. I just can't. If you guys can drink cold coffee, let me know in the comment section down below. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for a set of Corsa for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I had a blast being back on the ridge. Definitely brought back some memories once again, man, that I'll never, ever forget. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today and start spinning some damn rubber with us as well too you guys can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which can be found in the description box down below oh my god man this shit is tough definitely recommend trying this out ladies and gentlemen to motorcycle train i'm out peace Welcome back guys, 